As the majority of you know, I'm currently in Les Miserables playing Eponine Thenardier, or the most friendzone character of any fictional creation. Eponine is completely and utterly in love with Marius to the point where she will do anything just to make him happy. Even, spoiler alert, even, she delivers a letter for him to the person that he's in love with, which ultimately means she ends up dying for him. No one is as friendzoned as Eponine Thenardier. So if you are currently in the friend zone, at least take some comfort that you will never be as friendzoned as her. But even so, being in the friend zone does suck, apart from playing a friend zone character on stage every night and feeling that pain of rejection, I have been friendzoned myself in real life occasions. And the thing about being in the friend zone is that it sucks for you, but it's great for the person that you're showering with your praise and affection because, you know, they get to be showered with praise and affection. And because you're not actually in a relationship, they don't have to feel guilty about then getting their praise and affection from you and then going off to somebody else and getting their other relationship needs fulfilled. Fulfilled? It's an unhealthy relationship for everyone involved, but the hard thing is is that it doesn't really feel like anyone's fault either. Because the person in the friend zone just wants to be loved and is doing all that they can to get that love from the person they want to be loved by. And the person outside the friend zone who is being targeted by the person in the friend zone also kind of just wants to be loved and is enjoying that attention from the person in the friend zone. Eponine would deliver letters and find out where girls lived for Marius because she wanted to see him happy in the hopes that maybe he'd turn around and be like, oh, you are always making me happy, I want to be with you, not Cosette, Ugh. And oblivious Marius, who just didn't realise that Eponine felt that way, was like, oh, she wants to do this thing for me and I need that thing doing, so that is perfect. Because most of the time the person outside the friend zone doesn't realise the person in the friend zone has feelings for them. So when the person in the friend zone is just showering them with affection and love, they just think they found the best, most caring and loving friend in the world. If you're in the friend zone, you just gotta remember that you can't make someone love you. If you're constantly loving and caring for this person you're always there to listen to their problems and help them out when they're having relationship issues and you do everything and anything for them you're not giving them a reason to respect you because when you get to that height of the friend zone you don't even respect yourself because you will just do anything to make them love you and make them see that you are the right person for them personally there's a plane personally there's a plane Shut up. In my 21 years, I have been in the friend zone a fair few times. And personally, in my own opinion, I think there is one question that you have to ask if you want any chance of getting the hell out of the friend zone. And it's, I like you. Do you like me? Let that person know that you want to be more than just a friend to them and ask them if there is any chance of that happening. If you get any answer that is other than a definite yes, I want to be with you, you need to run out of the door that is marked move the hell on. You need to take that, oh but I only see you as a friend. I've never really thought about it. But you're like family to me. If you get any of those answers or answers similar, you need to realise that it just ain't gonna happen. Take comfort in the fact that you no longer have to be bound by the friend zone. You now have the option to run out of that door and find someone else who does return your affection. And just remember for next time if you fancy someone and you're putting in a lot of effort into this friendship and they're not giving it back, you may be in the friend zone again. Don't let it happen again. And hey, if you get the answer you've been waiting for, the yes, I like you too and I've just been too scared to tell you, or the yeah, I really want to stick my tongue in your face, then you get to run the other way, hand in hand, with a new dating person. And that is wonderful. But either way, it's a good thing, because you get to run out of the friend zone. No matter what direction it's in, you're out of the friend zone. Hello everyone, these are my hands, these are my hands. So I'm going to show you how to make an origami dragon. Not to sound too blue petery, but here is one I made earlier. 